up to my hands. And I landed about a foot from the ground. The hose was between my legs coming out of the window. And it was, it was like a bungee jumper. I was just bouncing a foot above the ground. <laughs> and, and I, I, you know, again, I didn't know what I was doing. I shouldn't have been doing it. Should but I was been harnessed in. You know, so yeah. So I should have been, but being a young person, it was my own house. I was trying to save a buck. Um, and, you know, again, sometimes when you're young like that, you don't think about safety. And I never thought that board would come off the ridge like that. And it happened in a split second. So again, uh, now that I'm older, I think about, you know, the end result of me falling, uh, you know, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. So you guys do some pretty high up work and you have all the right equipment to do well, it. We're also, just in any other trade or any kind of work that you want performed at your house, you should always, always do a background check on the company you're hiring. Make sure that license is certified. Yeah. But also our techs, our t I, we have seven employees. All our techs are CSIA certified. We send them out to Indianapolis. That's oh, well. the Chimney Safety Institute of America. That's awesome. So they're all CSIA certified. We have our CSL license, so we are licensed to build HIC. I mean, in the state of Massachusetts, I'm the vice president of the Chimney Guild. So, I mean, we have experience on our side. And, and you, it's, it's not your first, uh, first job. You've been doing it's it for... It's definitely not my first rodeo. Many, many years. Well, I, um, I, 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 you, you're a wealth of information. And, again, I've never had a Mason on the show to talk about masonry work. And, um, you know, it, it's, there's a lot to it. And it's not something the average homeowner would be able to do. And I wouldn't recommend that to anybody. Uh, unless you've got a background in it, uh, because it is, you know, it's it's specialty work. It's not something like, you know, you're gonna re recock your bathtub, uh, you know, even putting tiles up in your bathtub. I mean, that's that's okay. It's cosmetic stuff. But when you get into the the nuts and bolts of a, of a fireplace and a chimney, uh, you, you you can get yourself into some real trouble if you don't do it right. So, uh, most definitely, and uh, that's a a big issue. Most most homeowners want to do it themselves, but. That, that's what causes chimney fires and breathing of the carbons from your heating unit. Yes, I agree. And, and again, I wouldn't do it myself either. I mean, um, it, it's, it's, I've learned in the past, like I just explained to you earlier, it's, it's, you know, for the money you save, it's not worth, you know, having an accident or something go wrong. Um, but thanks for coming to Scott. I want you to uh, just, just <coughs> run, run down um, all your contact information and where can, where can, our viewers get in touch with you or your company. Uh, if they have a chimney issue, if you guys even have a question regarding structural uh, issues with your chimney, uh, something that you might have a question where you might, maybe you want uh, Scott or, or one of his people to come out and maybe do an inspection, um, why don't you give our viewers some insight as to how they can get in touch with you. Thank you. Um, well, my name is Scott Saris again. We are located at 1127 Main Street in Hanson, Massachusetts. We can be reached 339-933-8531. I threw a blank there. Um, or you can locate us, I mean, find us on the web at www.thechimneychap.com. You can also look us up on our credential aspect with csia.org or the Better Business Bureau. Excellent. You know, now, one quick thing. I, what, uh, could you tell us what CSI stands for? Chimney Safety Institute of America. There you go. I thought it was Crime Scene Investigator. Yeah, you've been watching too much TV. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't want to, I didn't want to seem like I was too smart, but I, I didn't even know what that meant, to be honest with you. I knew it meant something to do with chimneys, but, um, but it, 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 you know, it, it's something uh, I, th I think everybody should be um, aware of. And, and again, just to open up, um, you know, this topic about uh, chimneys and, and their st structural integrity and things like that. I mean, who thinks of that? I mean, I, I, I look at mine all the time, and there's one thing, and I, we got like two minutes before we run out of time, so, so run this by quick, and I wanted to ask you, and I almost forgot, on the outside of a chimney, when you see that white powdery film, right? What is that? Hmm? Effervescence of the Effer brickwork. Eff isn't that like Alka-Seltzer? Uh, similar. What's happening is because the brickwork masonry does have the salts and minerals in it, so the okay. water is penetrating through. So what happens? It's pushing the salts out. Is that good, bad, or okay? Uh, that that's bad. You should definitely stop that beforehand. And a preventive measure again is weather sealing it. Just applying the the water penetrating. Spray it, and you spray it on. Is that Correct. how you seal it? Correct. Is that something somebody could do themselves? 
Well, you can buy the, the cheaper stuff at your local hardware store, but we have the more commercial, stronger concept of it. Um, okay. And that's only available to professional chimney sweeps. I got you. Well, that answered my question. I want to thank you for coming in, Scott. Thank you for having us. It's been a pleasure. And I wish you the best of luck um, with your business. Uh, it sounds like you don't need much luck. You really you get by on your merit, for sure. Thank you. Um, and I want to thank everybody for watching another episode of Around the House. Feel free to contact me, your host, Steve O'Brien, at finishdimensions at yahoo.com. I got it backwards again. Finish dimensions at yahoo.com. I got it right. What am I thinking? It's these lights. I'm telling you, these lights are driving me cuckoo today. Um, and you can visit my website at finishdimensions.com. Thanks again for joining us uh, on Around the House. It was a pleasure having you in here today. And stay tuned. We're going to have many more shows to come. I hope you enjoyed this one. We'll see you next time on Around the House.